Freedom overseas lost his life right here at home. Nitesh Kumar was gunned down while dropping off a friend in San Bernardino. And tonight, his loved ones opened up about the tragedy to KCALMAN's Nicole Comstock. She's live in San Bernardino with that story. Nicole? Yeah, Susie, friends and family say he didn't have any enemies, that he was respectful to everyone he met. So they believe he was just in the wrong place at the wrong time. And tonight, San Bernardino police, they really don't have much to go off of either. Evidence markers line the street and the sidewalk at this San Bernardino apartment complex Monday night. A shooting that took the life of a 24-year-old Army reservist. Nitesh Kumar was just starting to live out his dream. He was honored to serve our country overseas. And as a cousin, I'm just like, bro, you're doing good, you know, you're keeping the family's name going. But he ended up losing his life just a couple of miles away from home. Kumar's family and childhood friends say no one had a reason to target him, that he came here with good intentions to give his friend and co-worker from San Manuel Casino a ride home after they got off work. Always smiling, always happy, super respectful with everybody, like he didn't deserve this. San Bernardino police say they don't have a description of the shooter or a related car, although neighbors say they heard a spray of bullets. At least one of them shattered car windows out on the street. We Indians, we believe in your incarnation. In next life, I want him to be my son. <laughs> but Kumar's big sister, Neelam, was already his second mother figure. She helped raise him when her family first moved to the United States. And when her brother got his bonus from the Army, she says he spoiled the important women in his life. He was so happy. It was around Mother's Day. Bought me flowers, bought my mom flowers. Neelam says her brother was charismatic, adventurous, and wasn't afraid of going after what he wanted in life. I've always been proud of him. He knows that. Her family's hoping someone will come forward with information about the shooting that cut it short. I really do. If you have any information about this shooting, call San Bernardino Police, and you can remain anonymous. Reporting live tonight, Nicole Comstock, KCAL 9 News.